Hey everyone, today I've got your In the Heart of the Sea movie review. The Tale of Moby Dick by Herman Melville was inspired by a whaling ship called the Essex that encountered a whale of mammoth proportion that attacked and left the ship's crew stranded. So now all they have to do is fight to survive. So as far as the story goes, this Ron Howard film has the director re-teaming up with Chris Hemsworth from his previous movie, Rush, where he joins a crew leaving his pregnant wife to go hunt some whale. I thought that this seemed like a really interesting story. I actually never read the Moby Dick story, so I don't really know exactly what happened except it involved whale and it started off with call me Ishmael and all that stuff. I was really looking forward to seeing another movie by Ron Howard because he's actually one of my favorite directors and I just wanted to see something that really looked cool and even had some historical elements to it so I was really interested in that right off the bat. As far as the cast goes, Chris Hemsworth plays Owen Chase who is uh, just probably uh, one of the best in this movie. I mean, he really gives it his all because he really immersed himself into the role and especially having uh, quite the shocking weight loss later on. And uh, him, he did this with like other actors as well, uh, considering like what the characters ended up uh, getting themselves into. So I just really loved his performance. And I liked one of uh, the favorite lines of his was, as I live and breathe, he's mine. I kind of liked that Thor happens to be in a movie with Spider-Man. And speaking of Spider-Man, uh, Tom Holland plays Thomas Nickerson and uh, he's just one of the youngest of the crew so I think it was really cool to see him in a role when I haven't really seen a lot of movies with him except for The Impossible which was another disaster type movie and you've also got other great supporting cast members like Cillian Murphy, uh, Ben Wishaw who plays Herman Melville uh, trying to write the encounters of uh, Tom Holland's uh, character's older self played by Brendan Gleeson. So I thought it was really cool to see uh, how this all was sort of going to play out and how this was going to ultimately uh, concoct the story of Moby Dick. The things that I did like about this movie, literally once everybody is in survival mode, shit gets real. I mean, it's an intense movie to watch, it's thrilling, it can be suspenseful at times, and maybe even a little bit heartfelt. So I really liked seeing this balance of emotions. And let me talk about that damn whale. I mean, I thought the one from Pinocchio was scary, but this was just insane to watch, especially with how well it looked on screen. And I just really loved the tone of the film, so it really brought it all together. But unfortunately, the things that I didn't really like about this movie was the fact that there isn't as much action as I was anticipating it to have, considering all the things that I saw in those TV spots, the trailers. Um, so I just didn't know what to believe because since all that whale stuff, started literally um, an hour in the movie. I also felt a little bit worried that the movie would focus more on the spectacle of like seeing uh, everybody jump into action and try to take down this whale once and for all because I mean this whale was just insane and dangerous and you just gotta look at it straight in the eye and maybe it'll go away. I was hoping that you know, the storyline would still be sufficient enough for people to really get invested in what was going on, which I slightly did. There were definitely moments in this movie where they just like jump 
like through the timeline so much and it's like oh and this much time passed it was just um interesting way of storytelling overall i would say that in the heart of the sea was a pretty uh decent movie uh i really loved a lot of things about it and i really think it's a really uh intense movie to see so i definitely might check this out uh, somewhere down the road. So I would actually recommend seeing this movie whether or not you're a Ron Howard fan or Chris Hemsworth fan, which I'm sure is the main reason why a lot of people want to see this movie in the first place. Uh, I'm one of them. Uh, I would give this four hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of In the Heart of the Sea. And I'm gonna go hunt some whale right now. We're gonna need a bigger boat. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a Child Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.